preach safety, safety, safety when I was in the office. Then they load you. And then they tell you come out in the street, strap down. And you guys dodge all the trucks. Good morning. We're in Memphis, Tennessee. We spent the night here at this customer. They were nice enough to uh, let us spend the night. Nice secured lot. 24 hour security. So we're going to get out of here before we overstay our welcome. It's about 7.15 and we got about 15-20 minutes over to go pick up our next load. Going down to McAllen, Texas. Yesterday I kept saying McCullough because I was trying to say McCullough and I had McCullough on my brain, 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 man, I'm still waking up, on my brain because I was going to stay at the Petro in McCalla, Alabama and that's why I kept having Macala on my mind. But uh, we're going to McAllen, Texas and we're going to go I'm gonna hopefully we get loaded. I've never loaded over this place with post pickup roofing material, and uh, it's going to be heavy. Let's see here, get out of here. Let me get through this gate here in one second. So picking up roofing material, it's going to be heavy going down there to Texas. But that's all right. Okay, we got loaded. We got our uh, shingles loaded here. They uh, preach safety, safety, safety when I was in the office. Then they load you. And then they tell you come out in the street, strap down. And you guys dodge all the trucks. So I put my uh, safety vest on. But this is what we got right here. Um, hey, we'll go around the other side. I'll tell you a little quieter. 
but uh, this is what we got. Truck pulling up. Oh man, all right. So we gotta have two straps in the front and two straps in the back. That's what we got right there. And then uh, I gotta put those bungees away. I wanted to show you this right here. I had a TMC driver show me how to do this little trick. Put the two inch strap on the front. Um, and that what that does is kind of hold it from sliding forward. But I always struggled with getting the strap around the, the front edge there. And he recommended or he showed me to take the two inch strap and put it through the little hole in the, the pallet. So you can see where the little hole is and just slide it through there and then come up and that holds it nice and tight. And then we got an edge protector up in the front up there. That hold it from if we hit the brakes hard. All right, let me uh, let me finish putting that away. Get going. We're gonna try to make it down to uh, to Dallas today, so I think we should be all right though. So talk to you in a bit. All right. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. We loaded up in Memphis yesterday. We got shingles on, and we made it down here to Klein's Corner, Texas which is a petro truck stop uh, on I-35E. And the E stands for East. I-35 splits apart there at Dallas-Fort Worth. They have a 35W and 35E. Now, this used to be an old, uh, or it used to be a really old truck stop called Klein's Corner. And you guys can do some Googling and uh, look it up. But Willie Nelson used to own this before at Petro, and he was like, uh, I don't want to say pioneer, but he was really into the biodiesel fuel stuff. And you see those tanks straight ahead right there? That was part of the biodiesel stuff that they, uh, they would make their own biodiesel here. And of course they don't do it anymore, but that was one of their things. There used to be a big bar here. Like I said, it's a Petro now, but there used to be a big bar here. They would have uh, concerts and country music, and country and western music here. It was quite a happening place. And then, uh, I don't know, he sold out or something, but... Oh. Petro got it. They didn't change it too much after he remodeled everything. I think the bar is now like a banquet center, and then the restaurant's an iron skillet. Um, had a little problem with footage yesterday, I think. We'll see how it goes, but I'm hoping it was just my memory card and not my camera. And it's the little dash camera looking out the window. So, all right, uh, we're gonna make our way on down 35. Um, from right here, we got about 400 miles, 450, down to McAllen, Texas. I kept saying, trying to say, I tri kept trying to say McAllen, but it's not. It's McAllen, Texas. So hopefully, oh, there's a couple little raindrops on the window right now. All right, let's uh, let's make way down the interstate. A lot of driving today. Looks like we might get a little bit of rain. And I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, we made it down here to Three Rivers, Texas, at the Love's Truck Stop. We got some fuel, and took our 30-minute break. We got about three hours over to Mc, uh, McAllen, Texas. The wind is really blowing, and I think I think it's got my allergies because. Oh, hang on. Oh, because I was having a sneezing attack. Oh, man. So I think my allergies have got me. Um, let's see, what do I say? Oh, so they'll receive up to about 4 o'clock is what they said. Feet, turn left. We got three hours to go, and it is 1 o'clock. So we're going to be cutting it close. Worst case is... They'll tell me they won't unload me, but 
<laughs> we'll see if we can make it. It shouldn't be that bad. Oh, my allergy. We do not have a reload yet. So, uh, I'm not too sure what we're going to do when we get done. Gotta figure out. We gotta go that way somehow. We gotta go that way somehow. So we don't have a reload. I uh I don't know what we're gonna do. I came down here. Ooh, that didn't feel good. I came down here. Uh, so we don't have a reload. I came down here hoping to get a, something out of Southern Texas, way Southern Texas. As you know, this is usually, I usually don't come down here. But we were so close to Memphis for the deadhead that. I didn't even want to take a chance, or I didn't want to pass it up. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, I rolled the dice. It's like going to Vegas. You roll the dice, spin the wheel, play the cards. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So we're not done yet. I don't know. I, I do not want to sit down here all weekend. I won't sit down here waiting, hoping something comes up Monday. Now, if I book something on Friday for Monday, I'll wait for it. But other than that. I don't know where I'm going to go, because there ain't much going on anywhere. But, uh, anyway. Alright, we got uh, 170 miles. So about three hours uh, to get down there. It is 1 o'clock right now. Would like to get there so we can get unloaded today, because the sooner we get unloaded, the sooner we get a position on the board. So... When we're loaded, we don't have a position on the board. When we're empty, then we'll have a position on the board. So if we can get loaded this afternoon, that'll give us just a little bit of better advantage. So that's the plan. All right, let's see if I can stop sneezing. Make it down there to McAllen. We'll get some, see if we can get some footage, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. It's the end of the day. We're down here in McAllen, McAllen, Texas. Um, we did get unloaded. We made it over there at 3:45. Um, we did not book a load out of Texas. Uh, I booked a load out of Louisiana uh, for Monday. Uh, there just wasn't anything down here worth doing. They had stuff going to like Wyoming and stuff like that, but I don't want to go over there. 
Um, Katie and I both took a chance coming down here. Uh, the rate, believe it or not, them stupid heavy shingles, uh, the rate paid pretty good on those things coming down here. So, you know, I came down here with a pretty good rate. Um, and I actually booked this load. I booked this load before I left Arizona. And uh, we thought we'd have plenty of time to get something, but things just weren't hitting down here like they usually do. And I don't come out here very often. Plus, the rates out of here are pretty low anyway. So, but like I said, I came down here with a good rate. So, anyway. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to bounce all the way over to near New Orleans and pick up um, some um, power poles going up to Indiana. And that'll put us back up. And the rate on that's pretty good. And that'll put us back up in a good spot. So. You know, sometimes you just roll the dice, see what happens. It didn't pay off this time, but that's all right. There'll be another time. Ah, uh, see what else is going on. That's about it. I'm tired. I did 484 miles today, and we did a little over 500 miles yesterday. So uh, I'm kind of beat. But anyway, all right. Uh, that's it. We'll figure out what else is going on, and I'll talk to you later.